Hey, Adam, one of our clients is holding a huge meeting at the Hotel Del Coronado and wants to open it with a fully costumed, choreographed village people number. I thought you'd be perfect for it. Thanks. <laughs> if you're planning your annual shareholders Christmas party and want to hire Beyonce and Louis C.K., or depending on your budget, the singer from Men Without Hats and Gilbert Gottfried, you don't track down their agents. You call one of the biggest corporate entertainment bookers in the country and they handle everything for you. And if your friend Andy works there and someone needs a YMCA simulation, apparently she calls a Jewish Adam. For years, I'd done cover bands, but they were always tongue-in-cheek, short-lived, and designed to drive purists crazy. Alienating an entire audience just so one person can tell me it was the greatest thing they'd ever seen is half the fun for me. <laughs> Much like that Beastie Boys graphic you just saw. It's like tribute band performance art or something. No one's going to hire an Oasis parody, a history of Jewish rock stars, or a band of John Oates's <laughs> for their company picnic. But Andy asked, and it sounded like a fun challenge. I started thinking about which character I wanted to be the most. The cowboy, the leather guy. Before I could get too excited, she told me the date and I wondered if I could do it at all. It was right in the middle of several shows, my Whistle Stop Music trivia night, RIP, and my birthday. I knew I could deliver Andy a great professional homoerotic show, but not this <laughs> month. I still wanted to help make it happen and figured I could ask my friend Lelania, a belly dancer slash mermaid for hire, that's what that looks like, to handle the dancers while I just took care of the music. I wouldn't get to live up my disco dreams on stage, but my voice coming out of their mouth would help bring my Millie Vanilli fantasies to life. Sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars go into corporate event productions, but with no real resume to speak of, I asked for $3,000 total and Andy accepted. I should have asked for more, but when you play rock clubs for next to nothing, asking for three grand seems like asking for a fortune. We agreed to add another $750 for costumes so that it wouldn't likely, we, we just went to Party City. Funny enough, years ago, one of my bands had played the San Diego Pride Festival and added YMCA to our set for the occasion. A friend hooked us up with all the headgear we needed, and as ridiculous as it seemed, I had been moving a box marked Village People Hats from apartment to apartment for years. You never know. We started planning, but at some point I realized I wasn't sure who the client was. Uh, if Andy had told me this little detail when we first talked, it didn't register because there's no way I would have missed it. It's safe to say that BP Oil was one of the most hated companies in the world. Our event would take place on September 19th, 2011, the one year anniversary of the well finally being sealed. Thousands of people, myself included, had boycotted them. Now, before they discussed their massive PR repair strategy, I was in charge of kickstarting their morning with the village people's third best song. Right? <laughs> A video of a Bank of America employee earnestly singing U2's One with lyrics about a recent company credit card merger at a corporate meeting had recently leaked out and gone viral, and I dreaded having to come up with something in the same vein. Spillage. It's okay, we've got more. BP paycheck. Makes me feel like a... Luckily, I was told that the company had already come up with something, and I soon received the lyrics for PSCM, Purchasing and Supply Chain Management. <laughs> for better or worse, I was off the hook. BP, it's a great place to be, I said BP. Making world energy, I said BP. From Brazil to Baku, we are here to add real value. Holy Weird Al meets Mr. Burns. <laughs> Lyrics this timeless deserved to be immortalized forever, or three minutes, whichever came first. <laughs> and it was my job to make them sound amazing. I booked studio time, 
secured the backing track for the performance for a whopping $1.99 thanks to karaoke-version.com <laughs> and arranged to have some of the group meet me at the studio the next night to record the vocal parts. It felt ridiculous, but it was impossible to make it sound any good without putting some feeling into it. We were all in hysterics, pumping our fists as we sang, P-S-C-M, who is the best team? <laughs> but when it was all done, the sound actually sounded professional, and damn it, it was catchy. We all went around singing the song for weeks. Lelania well, scheduled some rehearsals with the people, and the afternoon before the meeting, I went to the last run-through at a dance studio in Coronado to see how it had come out. As I walked up the stairs, I could hear the song blasting, accompanied by the sound of feet stomping and moving in unison. When I turned the corner, there they all were, spinning and pointing as one. I'd never even met some of them, but there they were, singing along with my voice <laughs> and whooping encouragement as they all kicked out the jams. They even remembered my one stupid request. For a line about suppliers, the construction worker fell to one knee and thrust a pair of pliers into the air. <laughs> they were ready. <laughs> Some of the BP brass wanted to see a full dress rehearsal, so we walked across the street to the Hotel Dell. Once the costumes came on, everyone looked amazing. <laughs> The two British women from BP that dreamed up the song came back to meet us and their jaws dropped. We are so going to be fired. <laughs> One of them said. They couldn't believe that what they'd written over a bottle of wine a few weeks ago was now all of this. The boys strutted out on stage in the empty ballroom and did their thing to just a few people in front of a jumbotron-sized backdrop. Unbeknownst to us, they prepared a colorful karaoke-style rendering of the lyrics so that everyone in the audience could follow along. The two women stood in front of the stage, sang along, and danced in tears of laughter. They loved it. Afterwards, Andy and the other planners told us that the clients had asked if the Indian could be a little less... thrusty. <laughs> I'd actually noticed it too. <laughs> what can I say? The man was excited about drilling. <laughs> his outfit was less skimpy than the real Indian, but he covered up a bit more and promised to keep his hips in check. The next morning at the crack of dawn, we were all back at the deck. They asked us to be there plenty early so the traffic couldn't make anyone late, which meant hanging out and being bored with the village people for a couple of hours, slowly eating our spread of bagels and juice. <laughs> When the time came, we were all whisked backstage behind a stage curtain. Out front, we could hear hundreds of executives talking and getting ready to take their seats. It was only a few minutes of waiting, but it seemed like an eternity as my mind started dreaming of worst-case scenarios. A glitch in the music, someone falling off stage, the cowboy revealing a cute little oil-soaked otter in protest mid-song. <laughs> hours to get that just right. <laughs> the lights dimmed in the room and without any introduction the music started the group was cued and they marched out onto the enormous stage Lelania and I beamed like proud parents with our lips quietly mouthing along our boys danced and sang their little hearts out from our side stage view it was hard to tell if people were actually enjoying it we'd catch the occasional nudge laugh or cheer but admittedly it was a weird way to start a conference at 8 30 in the morning <laughs> Still, our guys were killing it. They didn't miss a note or a move, and the American Indian kept his little big horn in check. They exited to wild applause, and we were quietly led away so that the bigwigs could talk about saving face with the global environmental community. There would be no encore. All that worked for just one song, and it was over before we knew it. Within a few minutes, the village people were gone. As I pulled out of the hotel parking lot and drove back to my day job, I smiled. We did it! Sure, BP could have hired the actual village people for 20 bucks more, but... <laughs> Our version looked and sounded just as good as the real thing. I was hardly ashamed. It was also hilarious that I wanted to tell everyone I knew about it, but figured it was unprofessional to be uh, posting pictures and an MP3 online for my friends to laugh at. I wish I could play it for you guys. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
don't think I signed anything. I mean, it's, it's been a couple of years, but... Okay, well, I'm not going to remember the words. Maybe if I had... All right, let's... Oh, shit. What is that thing? BP! If you... Wait, I can't remember what it said. BP! Okay, there. You can call, you can call here. And I'm sure you will find many ways that we can help you suppliers where they, we cannot do without our suppliers it cause headaches no doubt but a new thing we call common process will help us to minimize stress come on over who is the best team? Who is the best team? B -E -S -T -M. Yeah, read it. One team, one team, the best team in town. One team, one team, the best team in town. B -E -S -T -M. I was gonna drop the mic, but we got enough breaking stuff. Out of gimbal! Yeah.